Hello, this is Steven from ThemeStone support team. And today I want to show you how to install the new updated uh, sample data or demo data for handy WooCommerce WordPress theme. So, um, okay, at the moment, imagine that you have uh, the theme installed as I showed in the previous video, but it looks nothing like the demo you can see it at uh, handy.themes.zone. It's just a blank theme and uh, there's really no content in it whatsoever. Uh, but you can add, like, you can use demo data to add content and to have something to work on so that uh, it, it's much easier for inexperienced users or those who just want to save time and use our beautiful layout, beautiful design as a basis for their future site. So what are we going to need to install sample data? We are going to need our theme folder. You can see it right here. It's just the theme folder, uh, the one that we used to install the theme actually. You can see it in the previous video, as I said. And we are going to need the uploads folder. Where do you get the uploads folder? Uh, I already downloaded it, but uh, you will need to go to our documentation page at docs.themes.zone slash handy. Here is our uh, documentation page. It will be changing, but you know the address will most likely remain the same. Otherwise, we will notify you. And um, you go to first steps, you go to installing sample data. And right here, uh, there is a link to the uploads folder. Uh, we update the link, it changes from time to time whenever we do changes to the uploads folder, but you know, you, you will need to click this link, download uh, the uploads zip file from, from Dropbox, and then unzip it on your computer. And you know, you'll have to make sure that the uploads folder contains these folders, not another uploads folder inside of them because that's kind of a common mistake people sometimes do and then you know images do not appear on the site so once you have the uploads folder i i recommend you to to actually start uploading it to your wordpress install via ftp uh, you'll need to go to your wp content folder right here and as you can see you will already have an uploads folder uh, by the time you get to uploading this one, it's okay. You just still go ahead and, you know, hit upload and just wait because it will take some time. And to, to save our tutorial time, I meanwhile, it's being uploaded. We can go to our theme, go to WordPress dashboard and actually install the sample data installer plugin. To do this, we need to go to plugins and select add new. Uh, we need to go to upload a plugin. Then we select choose file. And here I, I already have it opened right here. But if we go a little bit back, we open our theme folder on our computer. We go to required plugins folder inside uh, the theme folder. And we select the sample data installer.zip right here. And we hit install now. And it will be installed in, in several seconds. Doesn't usually take long. Okay, after this, we need to hit activate plugin. And after you hit activate plugin, your existing database will be overwritten with our demo database. That's why it's important that you keep in mind that you do not have any of the products, any of the images, any of the important information on, on this very site that you haven't backed up. Because, you know, and, and the backup has to be full. You, you need to back up files, but what's more, most important is you need to pick up the database because uh, in this case, it's the database that gets lost. 
But anyway, we are using a clean WordPress install at the moment, so we don't have any of the data we don't want to lose. And um, so we can just hit activate plugin. Uh, but it looks like our uploads are almost there. Looks like they are, probably. Uh, so we can just go ahead and activate the plugin. Once we activate the plugin, the actual database gets replaced. It may take some time. It depends from hosting account to hosting account, but in general, it doesn't take long as well. So now we need to reload the page. And here we go. Uh, but you can say that, hey, the, the sidebar right here is to the right. Um, we, we don't have the slider. We, we don't have the logo. And, you know, there are many things that are missing. Uh, yeah, that's normal. Uh, what we need to do next is we need to go to appearance and ha appearance handy theme options. We need to go down here and hit the restore defaults button. The restore defaults button, what it does, it, uh, it actually brings the layout to its default state. And you can see that the sidebar went from right to left, the logo appeared and things like that. After this, uh, Oh, well, the order is, is not necessarily, uh, I'm, I'm doing it in the order I, I like doing it, but you know, you can do it in a different order. So what we have, we have certain widgets missing, then we have uh, a slider missing. Uh, what else? We have these demo users missing, and we have the map missing. It is normal, it's a, it's a normal situation. Um, you may not use these elements if you don't want to use them, but if you do want to use them, here's how you add them. First, we'll be adding widgets. Uh, to add widgets, we need to go to the handy store uh, theme folder, the one we used to install and you know everything. Uh, we go to the required plugins folder and we get the assemble data installer that we can copy it and then bring it out, unzip it. Okay, and we, we won't need these anymore. We get inside of it and here we have all the elements we need. Here's map, here's slider, here's vendors, here's widgets. So these are the four folders we're going to work with in this tutorial. First, we go into widgets. We can, again, copy this one, paste it like here. And then we need to open it with a text editor. I recommend opening it with uh, Notepad++. It's a free and great text editor which has the find and replace option. It's quite comfortable to use. So we open it with that. And then we need to find the handy.themes.zone URL. We can press count, it finds one match. So yeah, there is just one URL and we need to replace it with our site's URL, which in my case is handy.themecheck.net and we hit replace all and you can see that one occurrence was replaced. After that we press Ctrl S to save changes, close this widget and then we go to our WordPress dashboard, we go to tools, we select widget settings, import and we go to select a file. We select our edited file. Then we press show widget settings. Then we hit select all active widgets and press import widget settings. 
and here we go so as you can see some of these widgets some some like this one no this one is still going to be missing i believe some of them are missing then we reload the page and yeah here we go this one's back and this one is going back once we comment some products they will be shown here before we comment them they won't show uh so yeah we can go and leave a comment to some product right here uh, let's try to do that uh, let's say we submit a comment to this yellow pillow product and it should appear in our front page yes as you can see yeah it appears and if we add more comments it, there will be more products shown here up to three um okay <clears throat> what we need to do now is we need to upload a slider because the slider is missing uh, the situation with slider is, is quite similar to this one okay we we can delete this one don't need it anymore we dive into sample data installer we go to slider we we get this handy main zip and we simply need to upload it we go to slider evolution we select we select the import slider option choose file here it is and just leave it all like it is hit import slider and the slider is going to be important within seconds yeah looks like we succeeded okay yeah so okay, we're done with the slider uh, after that we need to import users because on our live demo we have some demo vendors um, and if you want to have some demo users to to make your site look like our live demo you can import them again we can delete this we don't need it you need to go to sample data installer folder and find the vendors folder and here is the this file we're gonna need to replace the URLs here as well although it's a csv file and you your system will probably suggest some program to open it it is recommended to open it uh, with notepad plus plus as well like this but here we need to be looking for for a different url because this one is not gonna work it's gonna be for demo for demo dot local and press count and we find six matches now we need to replace this url again with our url which is in my case handy steam check.net and i hit replace all okay all six occurrences were replaced great i press Control s to save changes close the program now we need to go to users import from csv uh, choose file choose this file you can check the update user when the username or email exists or not just in case it, you know some users already exist with such names or emails and hit import okay now we should have our users uh, on, on the front page and yes we do have them okay uh, it looks like we have everything in its place except for the map uh, you can see the map not found message here and to find the map we need to go back to simple data install folder to the unzipped one go into the map folder and get this map file you can actually have it right from here but it's just a little bit 
easier for me to show it to you by just placing it here. And after that, you need to go to your WordPress dashboard. You need to choose Google Maps Easy, Mac Maps Import Export. And um, hit this import button. Hit it another time and select this map. And yeah, that's it. The map should be important now. Yes, it is. So this is basically the complete sample data installation. Um, if you have any problems with it, please contact us at themezone.freshdesk.com. This is our support, uh, support desk. And um, see you later in the new videos. Bye-bye.